Hello friends, don't forget to subscribe to this channel, TJD Health Tips. Uh, so today we are going to talk about a US bank Salesforce interview question, which is build and actions and related records for record triggered flow, which is basically an after save. Okay, so after seeing the record trigger flows, which are ideal for related records operations, this use case involves uh like on the case object okay so when your clients have an open case with you and your sales people contact them for upsell opportunities so at uh that time it they get really upset so you want to avoid this possibility okay so whenever a client opens a case with you you want to update the account records and set the upsell uh set the uh, upsell opportunity field to no. Okay, uh, so for that I I have an account that could uh, open here for Dickinson, and I can see that the upsell opportunity field is value is blank. Okay, so I am going to create a new case and save this record for this account. Okay, and. Uh, I'm going to do that and then as soon as I save this record, the, the new case record, my flow is going to set the upsell opportunity. Okay, uh, so field value to upsell opportunity field value to no. Okay, so once the case is closed and the customer satisfaction surveys are completed, I can have another process, okay, I can have another process to set the upsell opportunity to a different value and remove the this block. Okay, so so how this is achieved? So that is the question. So click on the new flow. Okay, and then go to the new. Uh, we, we knew that the record trigger flow we are going to use for this use case. Okay, and I am going to trigger my flow based on the case object records being created. I don't need to change uh, anything here. And then I don't have any preconditions like input conditions. Now this is important. Last time I was on the left side, I chose to use past field updates or uh, before save because I was updating, I was uh, updating a field value on the record and that triggered the flow but this time i need to update the account records that is associated with the case record that triggers the flow so i want to be on the i want to be on the right hand right side of uh, right side this time and uh, uh, we need to uh, select the uh, appropriately uh, like uh, uh, action and related records and this is my after save flow now, if I try and build this one on the left side, I'm going to quickly see that some of the elements I need are not going to be available to me here. So let me stay on the right side and simply add an update element. Okay. And uh, I'm not going to update the triggering record. So I need to scroll down okay and uh, and again update records elements that is called that's called this update uh, count uh, update count and i'm going to choose here specified and uh, so basically i'm going to choose here the uh, specified conditions to identify records and set the fields individually and this is the account object okay so and my filter is going to be on the account id which needs to be equal to the account id that is on the record okay so that triggered the flow so and that is going to be available under the automatically created records record label okay when i drill down to my uh, record i can see the account record here and I don't need to drill down here. I only 
need to do that if I'm going to use the other field values under the account. Okay, so when I simply need the account, ideally scroll down and I click on this and I see this dollar notation record ID and I'm going to choose the field to update on the account. And this is the upsell opportunity uh, fake list field. And I'm going to uh, set this to no. I can see all the available uh, values here. Okay. And uh, pick list values and just click on done. Okay. Now it is important to see to note that the accounts field is not a required field out of the box on the case record. Okay. So on the okay, so if the case is not associated with an account, this flow is definitely going to throw an error. And I am uh, going to uh, show you how to check for that in my other YouTube uh, video. But let's keep this video very simple and assume that the account association on the uh, on the case is required in our operation. Okay, and I'm going to save this flow uh, with the name as update account update upsell no. Okay, uh, no got record trigger. Okay, so and I'm going to activate it and uh, that's it. Voila. And so don't forget to subscribe to this channel if you haven't done so. Uh, stay safe and stay healthy.